Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I'm Smiling Newlin and I upload twice daily on YouTube and also make some videos for TikTok from the YouTube videos that I make. But today we're playing Total War Warhammer 3 and uh, I'm gonna see what the best lord is in the game because I'm really curious. I'm gonna start a new playthrough so I thought that I would do this uh, before I started the playthrough to see which lord I should choose. I'm, I, I can't really choose one so let's see who the best one is. And here's how we're going to figure out what the best lord is. Really easy. I'm going to place a third party lord that's going to observe the battle so that the AI can fight themselves. So we're going to put two of the new kingdoms. So we have the Kislev, Ogre Kingdom, uh, Tixnich, uh, Krone, uh, Nurgle, Grand Cathay, Slanish. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. New Empires and Damians of Chaos. Yeah, the Damians of Chaos. We can't forget those. So for our first battle, we have Nurgle with their best uh, Lord and the versus Planish with their best Lord. Let's see how it goes. Here we have the Nurgle's uh, best Lord. Uh, looks really cool. Um, uh, and this guy looks dangerous. Like a demon. That looks like Lucifer, dude. Like a crab Lucifer. I like Looks cool. Let's see who's gonna win. I'm gonna speed this up. And the Nurgle won the battle. Next up, I want to text the human's best lord. So we have of the Grand Cathay, I think that's how we say it. Mao Jing, the Storm Dragon versus Kislev's Sarina Katrin. Here we go. Here we have the Storm Dragon. I think she can transform into a dragon. And here we have Kislev's leader riding a big bear. Oh, she's a dragon now. There we go. Kislev lost. So the Grand Cafe moves along. Next up, we have Sinitch's uh, Kero, Kero's Fate Weaver versus Damians of Chaos, Belle Lacour. Here we go. Oh, they're both flying. They're both flying. Oh, look how cool they look. Damn, bro. Look here at him. They look so sick. Okay, here we go. The battle begins. What's happening? Oh, they have some really cool spells. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up to see which one is gonna win. And there we go, Bella Core won. So the Damians of Chaos moves up one. Next up, we have the Ogre Kingdoms, Greus, Goldtooth versus Crones, Scarbrands, the Exiled. Let's see who will win. They all look like demons. Uh, yeah. And here we have the <laughs> Ogre Kingdoms. Look at that. Looks dope. And the Crone won. The Ogre Kingdom is fleeing, so... Crone won and moves on. Now the winners of the first set of matches moves on to the next set of matches. So we have Nurgle's uh, Kugath Plague Faller once again versus Grand Cathay's Mao Jing the Storm Dragon. And the Nurgle's Kugath Plague Faller won the battle, so they're moving along, and Mao Ying lost. Guys, I just remembered something. Bella Core is the strongest lord in the Damians of Chaos, but you actually play as one of the other ones. Okay, I want you to look at this. The Damians of Chaos, you play as Morkar, Iber, Igral, Samoth. Okay, you play as a... Just as a one of these guys. Um, one of the random lords or whatever. So... Uh, Bella Cor is not the one you play in the game, or the Lord, so therefore... I feel like it would be more fair to have this guy fight. Uh, because I wanted to see who the best of the playable Lords was, I'm gonna choose the uh, random Damien Prince instead of Bella Cor. And, to make it fair, I will get the uh, leader of the Senex uh, Lord to fight the winner overall later 
But we're not gonna see who Bellacor because you don't really play as him, or I guess you can maybe play as him later. I don't know how it works. But anyway, we're gonna see uh, because yeah, you you choose to play if you choose Damien Chaos, you choose to play as this guy, right? So we're gonna therefore uh, see how strong he is compared to this guy. So that's what we're gonna do. Here we go. Let's have Bellacor fight the winner later, uh, or the winner overall uh, over the others. Well, there you go. The Damien Prince won, so he moves up. He didn't need to be Bellacor. I thought he would lose, but okay. This was supposed to be the final battle, but we're gonna have Nurgle fight the Damien of Chaos Prince here uh, and see who would win. Uh, let's just go. Now, both of these guys can spawn troops. Uh, so that's pretty interesting how that's gonna play out. And there we go. Nurgle was the victor. Nurgle won. Uh, but to be fair now, we are first gonna have Bellacor fight him. I think Bellacor is the bad guy in the story. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have them fight him just to be fair. So this is some extra sh stuff. But since Damien's of Chaos' strongest lord is Bellacor, I think it would be fair to let him fight too. So here we go. Here we go, Bellacor versus uh, this guy, Kurgath Plaguefather. Dude, look at that! Did you see how much HP he had? Nurgle won that battle. Well, I guess that just means... I thought that uh, Bellacor would win, this guy. Well, I guess there's no need to let him fight this, these guys, Sinich, because... The Damien's of Chaos won over them, or over Bellacor, so that means that Nurgle is... yeah. But anyway, so Nurgle, Kogath Plaguefather of the Nurgle, has the strongest lord in the game, compared to the other ones. Or the strongest playable lord, anyway. Uh, so there you go. Play as Kogath Plaguefather if you want the strongest lord. Uh, so now I know, maybe. I have a little better understanding of what I should play now. Uh, but anyway, hope you enjoyed that quick little video where we see who the strongest lord and the best lord is in Total War Warhammer 3. Uh, so anyway, have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.